Hi guys, my name is Robert. I'm a forum member at Pioneer uh, D DJM um, Mixer area and also uh, DJ Tech Tools and at um, the Native Instruments uh, Tractor, um, Tractor Pro area. So if you guys have any questions or comments or, or uh, need me to explain a little bit more of what I'm going to be doing here, then uh, feel free to uh, contact me there. So basically what I'm, I'm doing a tutorial is going to be on how to route audio uh, from Tractor into Ableton through, the, through your PC's USB and into the sound card of the DJM 900. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I could not find any place out there that had a proper way of doing it. Um, most places I, uh, had you downloading multiple uh, programs and had you configuring, configuring a lot of things which didn't really make sense to me. So I decided to find a cleaner way of doing this. Um, so uh, he, uh, let, let me start and show you guys how it's done. Uh, first of all, make sure that your DJ 900 is connected to your PC and that it's recognized. Also, have the latest uh, firmware and drivers loaded onto your PC. Um, the PC that I'm loading it onto or, or doing this on is a 64-bit um, uh, Windows 7 machine. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to load up uh, uh, the Jack Audio Router. Um, this is a software that you're going to have to download to uh, internally uh, route all the audio. So if any of you guys are familiar with uh, routers, then uh, you kind of have an idea of what's going on in the background. <clears throat> the current version I'm using is uh, 1.9.7. So let's launch it and uh, start this up. Okay, so if you just install this, you're going to have to configure it so it actually recognizes your DJM 900 sound card. First thing you want to do is select uh, on the setup. Uh, for server path, um, you will already have a jack D. Um, you want to add the following um, um, option to it, which is space minus uh, capital S. For the driver, you're going to want to use uh, port audio, not core audio. For your input and output device, uh, select the right arrow and uh, you should see a ASIO DJM 900 Nexus ASIO. Um, what you want to do now is copy that and paste it into the interface section. The reason I, I'm, I'm saying to do that is because if, if you initially install this, you might not even see your uh, interface, or you might not see the DJM 900 interface uh, um, a sound card selected there. It might say Dev Zero, or it might say some other stuff that, uh, for some reason, I was having issues with that. So next, you want to uh, add in your, or for input and output channels, you want to put eight there. Um, the reason you're putting eight is because the DJM 900, uh, for every one one channel. Um, that's on it. Um, there, you have a left and right, so that you also have a. It has two channels per one channel on the DJM 900. For your input and output latency, you want to add one. For frames and period, you want to uh, uh, select 64. For the sample rate, you want to select 44,100. Um, on my computer, when I try doing anything else besides that, uh, if I try going up to 9600. I do hear crackling sounds on my mixes, so I found that this is the, the, the sweet spot, sweet zone for my for my uh, computer and uh, mixing style. Um, for num for number of channels, you're going to select eight. For port maximum, 256, and for timeout, 500. The last thing that you'll have to do is just go to the miscellaneous option, and under other, start Jack Audio Server on application startup. And the reason you want to do that is just to uh, automate the server starting uh, versus you manually uh, setting it or starting it up yourself. Click OK. You should get a a notification saying that uh, that you made changes, and for these changes to uh, take effect, you're going to have to uh, 
uh, restart the Jack Audio Connection Kit. So you, what you want to do is quit it and uh, and uh, restart it, and it should start up right, and now uh, it should be recognizing your DJM 900. Um, I did try to make this video uh, a little while ago, and I did go over uh, my time, so I might be making this a part two. So next, what you want to do is start up uh, Tractor. Okay, right now I got an, uh, a pop-up saying that for me to switch to my uh, DJM 900 audio um, driver. I'm going to select no. What I want to do now is go into preferences and then go into audio setup. In audio setup, um, for your audio device, you will select the Jack, ra jack router, ASIO, sample rate 44,100, latency, leave it at that. For your output routing, you want to make sure it's for mixing mode is external. For your output deck A, um, you want to select zero and then one. For your output deck B, you want to select two and then three. So you've uh, this is uh, pretty much all you have to do to configure your your tractor portion and. Now you want to go back to your jack audio, audio connection, click the connect button, and your workspace where you're going to be patching in things is, is going to be displayed. What you want to do first is select, uh, or select the tractor drop down and the port audio drop down. And what you want to do is disconnect all the connections there. So disconnect one and one, two and two and four and four. Um, next what you want to do is um, start up Ableton and as soon as you start up Ableton it also will populate uh, the jack audio connection. Um, uh, we'll start off by doing the, the, the audio um, setup and then I will uh, make a part two it looks like. <laughs> so Actually, this would be a good place to stop at. So we'll stop at the Ableton portion and uh, uh, just comment or just move on to part two. And, uh, um, yeah, well, I guess I'll see you there.